so this is a chapel village chapel there um, it's up for sale I'll show you the board in a minute for development so it might get knocked down and if it does I'm losing a six year old swift colony there the nesting under the eaves there that is what one two three three and a half meters maybe four meters max so there's, like, there's about I don't know ten breeding pairs so if it does go for demand I guess not down I've lost they've lost that obviously I'll put things in place to get obviously different swift organizations involved I've already spoke to council so if they do anything they go put boxes up etc uh, but if they don't knock it down the first thing they do is going to put an extension on this side it's begging for it so obviously then that'll scupper the nest there so this video is about protecting or hopefully trying to get that colony onto my house should the worst case scenario happen the sparrows are in there now look so basically they're in there that's where the nest site is and that is the west aspect that is uh, and they're also on the east aspect as well right so then it wasn't forecast the car's just gone into one of the signs there look oh well drive to the conditions eh don't think it's listed either which is a shame because then obviously they can knock it down I hope it's alright so if you say a look I've looked on the website from Jalavir at the minute it's under offer this is the east aspect look you see where they're going in there as well they're also nested in there what's that it's not high is it main road here so they're going between the lorries up and in there they've been there 30 years so from this chapel back to my place it's 100 yards so <coughs> just go back that's lovely isn't it look at that beautiful I've had today off in order to put boxes up on my house but obviously this has happened it wasn't forecast <laughs> so that's I mean bugger that up for a bit so that's my house over there look so there's a chapel there and there's my house there so it's 100 yards I'm hoping should the worst case scenario I get boxes on there I'll get callers up and get the swifts on my house before they knock that down obviously I'll do my best to get boxes up you know build some builders are like they rather take the money summons to court wouldn't they so this is my property I've knocked all these trees down yeah let's go this way <coughs> it's on the front aspect there look that's east as well he's facing main road again look I'm gonna put I'll just show you in a minute okay I'm going to put terrapins are fast asleep look hibernating I'm going to put four there it's a back nursery box I'm going to put two to the left two to the right I'm going to take them house Martin cooks out and hopefully I get them on this aspect that's east facing then power cables there just phone cables they are the bottom up transom window there the top little transom window so they're good six seven foot below the swift boxes hopefully the swifts will be able to get in and underneath it so there's four going there initially <coughs> oh, a bird in there start feeding these birds that's it okay so I mean I do look after our life I do my best house sparrow terrace there they use that I mean I could put swift boxes there but I'd have to knock that tree down and that calls loads of insects I've got bees look and the bees that's in flower in the summer and they get a lot of pollen and nectar from there the bats whiz underneath it I love watching the bats so I don't want to knock that down so I'm not going to put anything there at the minute unless I have to I want to protect these swifts I'm very excited that's all going to get knocked down hopefully new fence in there before they come so it's all ready so this one here because I was going to work on it today it snowed overnight so loads of boxes there lock of 20 in all together so there's four at the front I'm going to put 16 here I'm going to put two at the top a row underneath then go down the sides I might put house Martin cup in that corner or something I've got another bat nursery box and that's going to go there because it was there but it's not been getting bats I don't know why this is west facing obviously north facing there's not a lot of room between the two houses so that's a plan 
hopefully the next clip will be me putting some up or something and then after that be the callers giving up then hopefully we'll get some bangers in may june tapping them guys just to make sure they're all solid I put silicon uh, between the brick and the box if they're wobbly hopefully that's all gone stiff now just finishing last coat of paint because I'm not getting up here again ever in my life I don't like heights particularly that's why I've got a scaffolding I'm not flat are too heavy to risk my life at this time in it 58 summers I don't want to see a lot more. Basically, I'm done now. Shut up there. Lovely. Okay, guys. Swift pilgrimage. We're all going up. It's the end of April. Coming up to May. Hopefully, Africa's over there, they're coming across, far in the coast, so hopefully we get to the top of this mountain, if we ever get to the top of it, then hopefully we'll see them coming across, you can get above the clouds, so we're aiming up there, going across that mountain face, so hopefully we'll get there shortly, wish us luck. Hands and feet, don't forget. Everybody all right? No. See, hug that left hand face. All done. All this a swift pilgrimage. Oh, guys, you can't see the swift. It's too bad. Just, uh, just hopefully they're coming over the top of all this. Very happy with me. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you my setup. Just before I do, if you look. Right as you get through the gates, there'll be two terrapins sunbathing. They'll just come out of winter hibernation. See them there on the pond, look. Male terrapin there on the wood on the right. Can't zoom in on this GoPro, I'm afraid. You got one over there in the leaves. I'll try not to scare them, so I'm not going to shout. If they go in, they'll come back out again, so it's not too worried. He's going back in, look. He's shedding his shell look, which is good. He survived the winter anyway. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, this is just a continuation from the other day when I went up uh, the Lake District and climbed up um, Pavey Art via Jack's Rake. We tried to get above the mist. I'm just telling you this in case you can't hear it. The weather was horrific, absolutely horrific. I lost a load of friends that day. But uh, yeah, we couldn't. I thought I'd get above the mist, but we didn't. So this will be set up then. Well, this is it now. So I've got John Stimpson boxes there, there's six of those and hopefully I've got my callers on callers there's Andrew Porter, caller and he's from Swift Conservation Group It's alright isn't it? That's not his caller, I made another caller because the caller of Andy was a bit too sharp, I don't think the neighbours would like it so I'll have to turn it down a bit Yeah, so hopefully they come in. It should be here this week. There's a warm southerly wind apparently and it's the beginning of May so hopefully they'll be here very very shortly. Not two there look. Same boxes. Another caller there off Andrew Porter. And it all gets like goes wired down. It's come across the house here and it, all the connections are in the greenhouse which I've painted white so they, they can't see me in there if I'm watching them so I'm not excited, I can't believe it, I can't wait I'm already every day looking in the skies, it's mental I've never been like this about anything in my life so here, that's the end product, what I've done my boxes are up, got two colours up there they're from Hayley Garrard, uh, Garrard and she's from Church Swifts and House Martins she's on Facebook and Twitter and everything 
Near callers are different, and I'll explain that in a minute. They get wired down to this greenhouse as well. So basically, without boring you to tears, this is a greenhouse that's no longer a greenhouse. We've got two timers there uh, set. I've set them between 10 and 8 at night, so they're on most of the day, depending on the weather. And I'm going to play that by ear. So Andy Porter's callers, they come down. So he's, oh, sorry. He needs callers up there. He's got a speaker and he's got a motherboard and a USB. So then the lead comes down through USB into obviously a plug into the timer, which is really good because all I gotta do at night is unplug these two leads here and that's it, they're off. When it's warm, just put them back in again, so it's job done. Haley's come down and they come into this speaker here. Uh, sorry, the speakers in the the speakers are in her boxes. And this is an amp or something, I don't know what it is anyway. It's the thing that you amplify, yeah, it's the thing that does everything. And she's got her uh, USB going into there. You can adjust the time, uh, the bass and the treble. Now, I could have to turn the treble right down because it's really high. And that just gets plugged in, obviously, like that. And Haley's, if I don't want to use it, I just unplug that plug. And the thing is with Haley's, which I, I prefer a little bit, because if I want to change anything in Andrew's callers, I'll fit ladders out, climb up, take the box off, and do all that. But Haley's, as long as the speakers don't get wrecked, I can do it all in here. Change the USB there, I can put Andy's putters in there, put different caller in. Got House Martins, and I'm going to put a House Martin caller in once I get Swifts, if I ever get Swifts. That's it. Callers are up, boxes are up, everything's timed up ready. I've got all the volumes I want it, so I'm not going to upset the neighbours and everything. That's it. Yeah, good, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, hopefully, the next clip is some over the house, which should be this weekend, next week latest hopefully anyway keep watching and hope you're enjoying my little journey into trying to save them swifts from the chapel that's 100 yards that way everything's coming into flower now so hopefully they look nice short then get underneath all this chopped everything back as you can see so it can get in no problem okay guys i'm going to close the video down i'm going to get this close because the audio has gone on my gopro so i'm shouting a little bit so in relation to this video, the Swifts, um, I've had screaming parties coming over my house, I've, had, I've seen two or three lots going over, they don't stop, they go over the aisles and they go over the fields, so they've been over the house, I've had Swifts coming up to the house, singular and doubles in pairs, and as they hit, approach the house they fall back to where they come from, I've had Swifts flying round the house in pairs, about 40 yards up, 40 metres up say, from the house, so they've seen the boxes, and they've heard the calls, that's a fact, I know they have, I can see them, definitely the calls, and definitely the boxes, but I'm getting a commitment, that one, to my knowledge, is committed to a box, um, so I've had nothing really, um, but they know they're there, I'm hoping next year, fingers crossed, I get some on the house next year, in relation to the uh, chapel, it's been sold, for development, I've spoken to the council, the council are on board, spoken to the builder, the builder is also on board to protect the Swifts, so I'm meeting him in a couple of weeks to show him what we've got and try and get it so uh, we can keep the Swifts on the chapel as well as this house, hopefully in the future. Well thanks for watching and um, catch you next time. If you want to leave a comment, do so and I'll always answer them. Thanks.